These are the solutions to the questions at the end of lesson 6.2. Now number one is simply the generator converts mechanical work into electrical energy. So that's A. Number two, when you have a rotating coil of wire that creates an alternating current, which is C. And number three, the only one of those things that is true, we have secondary with twice as many turns as the primary, so it's a step up, and that means the EMF in the secondary is twice as large as the primary. So that was C as well. Now number four, we have a coil of wire area of 0.02 square meters. We have 50 turns. We have a magnetic field of 0.18 Tesla and that coil is rotating a quarter of a turn in 0.1 seconds. So the EMF is going to be minus N times d phi dt and that is n times the change in b times a, so the flux. So the flux will be changing from zero initially when the coil is parallel to the field to a maximum that is b times a. So we've got then it is 50 times b which is 0.18 times a which is 0.02 over the time that is 0.1 seconds. So that's the maximum um, flux in here, the 0.18 times 0.02 and the minimum was zero. So that means our EMF is 50 times 0.036 volts and that makes it 1.8 volts. Now number five, we have a battery charger and it contains a step down transformer. So the number of turns in the secondary over the number of turns in the primary is 1 over 64. That is also the voltage in the secondary over the voltage in the primary. So we know then that the voltage in the secondary must be the voltage in the primary times 1 over 64. Now the voltage in the primary was the mains voltage, which is 240 over 64. That gives us 3.75 volts output from our charger. Now number six, we have another transformer. This is a step-up transformer and the turns ratio is 25 to 1. So that means there must be more in the secondary than the primary. Step-up means that. So that is 25. Now we need to know the voltage. So that is also equal to the voltage in the secondary over the voltage in the primary. So the voltage in the secondary is going to be 25 times the voltage in the primary. Now the voltage in the primary it says is that it is running on the mains which is 240 volts, 240. So that means it has stepped it up to 6000 volts. Then the question is that we need to know the power and that is simply voltage times current and they tell us that the current is 1.7 milliamps or 1.7 by 10 to the minus 3. So the power is going to be 6000 times 1.7 by 10 to the minus 3 and that gives us 10.2 watts. Now number 7 we have a generating station producing 1.2 by 10 to the 6 watts of power and we know that that's going to be voltage times current. Now the first part of the question is find the power that is going to be heating the wires. So that is the power lost 
in the transmission line. Now the first thing we have is that V is 1200 volts, then the current, which is power over the voltage, is going to be 1.2 by 10 to the 6 over 1200. That will be 1000 amps. Now the power lost is I squared times R. Let's now work out what the resistance is. It is the resistance per unit length times the length. So it is 5 by 10 to the minus 2 ohms per kilometer times a distance of 7 kilometers. And so that makes the resistance 0.35 ohms. So the power loss then is 1000 squared times 0.35 and that will be 3.5 by 10 to the 5 watts. So that is a large amount of power lost but if we have a 100 to 1 step up transformer that means the V is now 100 times 1200 volts and so that is 1.2 by 10 to the 5 volts. So that means the current is now our 1.2 by 10 to the 6 watts over 1.2 by 10 to the 5 volts and that means it has now gone down to 10 amps. So the voltage got stepped up by 100, the current got stepped down by 100, and so now the power lost is going to be I squared times R, which is 10 squared times 0.35, and that means it has now gone down to 35 watts of power heating the wires.